How's it going everybody? Nick here and we're supposed to have a meteor shower tonight so I am out practicing some astrophotography. So I'm going to walk you through what I'm doing to set this up, what my settings are, and a couple locations where I'm going to be shooting tonight. So let's jump into what my camera settings are. So I'm in manual mode as you can see here and I am shooting at a 2.8 aperture. And right now I'm just doing 25 second um, open exposure um, for my shutter speed. So I'm at ISO 800, as you can see here on the screen hopefully. The trickiest part is to get in focus. So you can kind of maybe see these red blinking lights. Those That's my focus peaking. And I have a preset button on the top of my camera here that I can kind of zoom in and you want to try to get those little tiny circles as sharp as possible. Another trick to I'll mention since I'm here is I put the drive mode you want to set a self timer for either two five or ten seconds that way when you hit the actual capture button the camera won't be shaking and it'll get the sharpest images possible. So I'm just gonna leave it on Two, I'll do 10 when I step in front of the camera and kind of shine my headlight out into the distance to see what that looks like. And let's see what this shot will look like. So I'm gonna hit the shutter. It's gonna take two seconds before it starts capturing. And this light coming off my recording camera right here is probably maybe gonna interfere and maybe um, put extra exposure into the shot. So I'll do one as I'm recording this right now to see if how much that affects the foreground actually. And then I'll do one where all lights are shut off. So this is what we will be seeing. This first shot is with that headlamp that's behind the camera lighting the foreground. And this shot next is pure black, no lights at all. And this third shot is when I set it on the 10 second timer and went out to the road and had my headlamp pointing into the sky. And this final shot is what you can do when you stack all these photos. So I had a few frames that had the light trails and I just stacked all them together. I stacked the foreground that was a little lit. And this is kind of just one example of how you can manipulate all these different photos into one single photo. This photo was taken at the second location and I had a light that was shining on the foreground at me and on the tree that you can see behind me. And then I was also wearing that headlamp again. The only settings I've changed in this particular photo was I increased the shutter to 30 second exposure. This is after I processed and edited the photo, just so you can kind of see and compare how much information you can actually get out of the slightly underexposed areas. Okay, so you just saw the two shots, uh, three actually, that you can kind of compare what styles you are and you can adjust accordingly through your shutter speed. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do a short time lapse, which will take a long time, but I'm gonna go into the menu on my camera, go to the time lapse app that Sony has, and I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do 25 second uh, shutter speed, and I'm gonna set the interval to about 30, so that way my camera has about five seconds to be able to buffer the image if it needs, and I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait for maybe an hour. So we'll see how this turns out. Okay, just to clarify, here's just kind of a, a preview of what my settings are at. So I'm gonna go up to interval and I'm gonna turn that down to 30 second intervals just because we're going to be doing a 25 second um, shutter speed. Um, the number of shots, I'm just gonna leave that I'm going to end up stopping the camera anyway, so it's always better to go extra if you need it, but I know I won't be doing more than 600 for sure. And you can see how long that would take, like four hours, which I'm not going to stay out here that long. Um, so yeah, 25 second shutter, 2.8 aperture, and I'm staying at ISO 800. So I'm going to go ahead and start this and wait and see what the result is. As you can see, night photography time lapses do take a long time. 
the 50 minutes I was out here only got me a few seconds worth of footage. So if you're going to be taking these night time lapses, expect to be out for a few hours if you're trying to get five to 10 seconds worth of footage. It is 2.30 in the morning and I've been shooting for roughly about 50 minutes. So I'm gonna wrap this up. Hopefully it all turned out well. It is very cold out here. <laughs> so hopefully my camera didn't freeze and that the pictures turn out great. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and I probably will write a blog post to give you a little bit more of the technical details and kind of a step-by-step -step guide and, and give you some extra tips and all that. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe to this channel because I want to be doing this a lot more often and in a lot more beautiful landscapes coming up. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.